we are proud to announce the official release of PyCombot 8.0. You will quickly notice in this new version, in the Posting tab, we have added three additional wildcard fields. All of the fields in the Posting tab now relay to the Tag Control module. The Tag Control module has been designed to allow any user of PyCombot to select custom field entries for posts on advanced contact form. Let me show you how this works. First, I have identified a list of sites that have advanced contact forms. You will notice on these forms there are form fields, for example, like budget costs, company name, type of business, address, etc. Traditionally, PyGambot has not been able to post to such advanced fields. I will now upload the list of these URLs and begin the uploading process. Once the sites are verified, I will now move to the posting tab in order to enter in my information. I am leaving the wildcard fields blank as I have not mapped any tags for the list that I am running. You will also notice that I am selecting the option to collect tags. I have decided to use the manual CAPTCHA solving for the posting as this site list is very short and there's no need to automate that process at this time. As you can see, all posting attempts have failed. Opening the tag control module, you'll notice on the right side that there are now tags listed from the websites we have visited. You can also go to these websites, right click, whichever field, and select the option to inspect element. This will tell you the tag name. As you can see, the tag name here corresponds to the tags that were collected in PyGamot. Once you have your tags, simply drag and drop the tags in whichever form fields you wish those tags to relay to. I will now begin building wildcard field tag 1. I will place in this field any form fields that have to do with websites, company names, and types of business. After building the first wildcard field, I will now build the second one. The second one has to deal with the budget cost of a project. After dragging and dropping all of the tags you wish to use, simply save. Double check to make sure all of your tag fields are correct. Now I will run the exact same list which we have previously ran where all of the sites have failed. Again, going through the uploading process and identifying the sites and verifying the pages exist. I will now move to the posting module. In the posting module, I will fill out the exact same information in all fields, and, but this time I will also fill out the fields for wildcard 1 and wildcard 2. With this done, let's go ahead and start our campaign. You will, you will also notice that I have selected the manual CAPTCHA solving again, as again this list is very short. And as you can see, 
every single site was successfully posted to. The most important thing about the TAC control module is the, the, being sure that you have correctly mapped your TAC fields. You will also notice in this new version that we have added additional proxy protocols. You will also notice that we have added additional social media account types that PygonBot will collect whenever it is going to various websites.